How can a 17-year-old concerned about the world's most pressing and large-scale issues go from having no voice to spreading a crucial message to a worldwide audience? Free data. I'm that 17-year-old and the issues I care most about are air pollution and climate change. According to newly published research, air pollution is responsible for an estimated 8.7 million deaths annually. That's nearly one in every five deaths around the world each year. And of course, the health consequences of air pollution go far beyond these 8.7 million deaths. Around the world, 90% of people are exposed to unhealthy levels of air pollution. In Europe specifically, air pollution is responsible for an average two-year decrease in life expectancy. And while the health impacts of air pollution are clear and most significant, the economic costs are also devastating. Air pollution costs the global economy $2.9 trillion each year. That's 3.3% of the world's GDP. In countries like China, India, the US, and the UK, these economic consequences are most severe, as these countries have highly polluted and highly populated major cities. And these are just the consequences of air pollution. While the consequences of climate change are difficult to precisely quantify, its impacts are already visible now perhaps best encapsulated by the wildfires, ranging from California, where I'm from, to the Amazon rainforest. Long term, if unchecked, climate change is projected to wipe out one third of all species, transforming global ecosystems and human life along the way. It's clear that air pollution and climate change are serious, century-defining issues which require immediate action to mitigate. And yet, as ordinary citizens, we can often feel powerless. These are problems which impact our entire planet and which virtually every human on Earth contributes to. So how can you, as a single individual, really drive change in such a large-scale problem? Free data. Free data is one of the best, most valuable tools we have for two reasons. First, it enables you to understand these issues. The petabytes of free data enable anyone around the world to understand the driving forces behind air pollution and climate change. Interested in the global distribution of particulate matter, the most dangerous and consequential air pollutant, a quick Google search allows you to find interactive maps where you can see daily PM 2.5 concentrations in your city, your country, and around the world. And the second reason free data is so valuable is that you can use it to share your discoveries with the world, ultimately driving collective action. For example, during COVID-19, ordinary citizens, including myself, mapped the global decline in air pollution due to COVID-19. As people were locked down, not driving, air pollution emissions plummeted. Using free satellite data, we map this reduction in air pollution levels in cities around the world. These maps were shared everywhere, from Twitter to the New York Times. And very quickly, individuals, not just researchers or scientists, but ordinary people, recognized how severe the human impact on the environment is. Just a few days of lockdown transformed our planet. In turn, people who had no idea air pollution was such a major issue, recognized the dramatic message these maps conveyed, and not only vowed to alter their habits to benefit the environment, but also became involved in using free data to better understand air pollution for themselves. Whether that was through setting up networks of air quality sensors in their neighborhood, or creating maps of other, less talked about air pollutants. And this co collective action is central to mitigating issues like air pollution and climate change. These issues are driven by individual actions such as driving. And one of the best ways to tackle these issues is to alter individual behavior, but on a global scale. And given the power of the internet, a single map can be seen by millions, inspiring millions of people to thereby make tiny changes in their behavior, 
ultimately driving tremendous positive change. Air pollution and climate change are also issues where knowledge is fundamental to their mitigation, and yet that knowledge is severely lacking. To address air pollution, we need to understand the specific streets most responsible for air pollution, but it's simply not feasible for every government to develop a ground sensor network for every street in every city in every country. And so, through collective citizen action, we can work together to establish these necessary networks of data gathering, ultimately adding to the existing free data and continuing this cycle of collective action. The potential of free data remains largely untapped. I implore everyone to use free data to address not only air pollution and climate change, but any issues you may feel strongly about. And you can do this in an array of ways. In March 2020, Plume Labs collaborated with Bird Scooter to attach air pollution monitors to scooters throughout Paris. As a result, the scooter riders naturally monitored air pollution levels throughout the city streets. After a few weeks, Plume Labs had gathered enough data to create a map of air pollution in Paris. Not a city-level map like those that existed previously, but a street-level map where the differences in air pollution concentrations from street to street was apparent. This data is crucial. Understanding the nuances of how air pollution levels differ between streets and neighborhoods within a city allows you to identify air pollution hotspots, where policymakers and researchers ought to focus their efforts to reduce the harmful effects of air pollution. Just as interesting and even more feasible is the work of citizen air quality initiatives around the world. These organizations typically distribute low-cost air quality sensors which cost between 10 and 50 pounds around major cities which lack existing data. From placing sensors in front of their homes to in major downtown areas with high concentrations of traffic, these organizations have gathered crucial and novel data, illustrating just how severe air quality in cities around the world is. But they haven't stopped there. The Pakistani Air Quality Initiative, for example, has presented their data to the Pakistani government, which previously denied that air quality was a problem at all in the country. However, upon seeing the stark reality illustrated by the data, the Pakistani government declared a national emergency for air quality in the country and formed a smog commission designed to investigate and reduce air pollution. Whether you establish a global air quality ground sensor network or do something on a much smaller scale, such as setting up a low-cost sensor outside your home at a major intersection in your city, or even attached to your car. You will be gathering crucial data, which you can then share with citizens of your city and around the world, facilitating collective action and perhaps even providing the necessary data to drive through crucial policy changes. Free data is powerful. Through free data, everyone has the potential to play a defining role in, mig in mitigating two of our century's greatest issues, air pollution and climate change. Thank you.